File this in the... Surprise, surprise. We are on the verge of defaulting on our national debt. There is a group of now almost 80 to 100 Republican, Republican freshmen in the House, part of the so-called Tea Party Caucus, or I don't know if they're the official Tea Party Caucus, who are refusing to pay the nation's bills. Remember, the debt ceiling is raised because we have already made commitments. There is no cuts at this point that the U.S. government can make that will prevent us from having to raise the debt ceiling because the debt ceiling actually pays for commitments we have already made. You understand that? You could cut every dollar out of the federal budget going forward, you would still have to raise the debt ceiling. And nothing, nothing exemplifies the Tea Party mentality about paying your bills than this story. On Monday, the Venetian Casino Resort, LLC, filed suit against the Tea Party Nation Corporation of Franklin, Tennessee, alleging the group owes $642,000 Hey, what happened? for canceling a conservative conclave last year. Well, not just for canceling it, for not paying their bill. The event had been scheduled for July 14, 2010. Nobody signed up for it, so they pushed it to October. Nobody signed up for it, and so... Surprise, surprise! They had to cancel. But the Daily Caller, the right-wing Daily Caller, I should add, reported at the time there was a lack of people willing to pay 399 bucks for a weekend pass or $125 a day to hear speakers such as conservative commentator Laura Ingram or politician Sharon Engel. Really? Really, they couldn't find people to pay that. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Frankly, you'd have to pay me double that to go to Vegas and watch those people speak. I'm sitting in Vegas, and I got to hear Laura Ingram speak? I can hear her speak on the radio every day. And I wouldn't pay anything for that either. <laughs> the reservation included an agreement by the Tea Party Nation to pay the resort $579,000 in the event of a cancellation, of which the resort alleges the group still owes $554,000. And then I guess there's some interest charged. So basically, the Tea Party thought they were much larger and much more interesting than they are. They signed up to reserve God knows how many rooms, $550,000 worth of rooms. It, it was over 1,000, I think actually closer to 2,000. 2,000 rooms. <laughs> and no one shows. And then what do they do? They chewed and screwed, ladies and gentlemen, just like they want to do with the country's debts. We've chewed, we've got our Medicare, we've got our Social Security, we've got our government services, and now we don't want to pay for it. Bye-bye. Nothing says Tea Party more than not paying your bills.